Hey Gemini, Alice here and welcome to your reading. Um, we're going to check in on the incoming energy and just see what's coming towards you in the current energy. This is for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, uh, it could be cross watcher or if you're just feeling drawn to this reading for whatever reason, because um, these aren't horoscopes, you don't have to go by your signs um, if you don't feel like it. Um, but if you do, then that's fine too. There's no right or wrong way um, here. Uh, maybe the title brought you in, maybe it just showed up on your feed, maybe you don't even know why this is playing right now and there could be a message in here for you. Um, all the information about me and my readings are in the description box below. You can check that out if you want. I just want to remind you that these are general readings, so not everything. Um, may be your situation just take what resonates uh leave what doesn't don't try to force it these are also timeless so whenever you find it um that's on your time uh june 2023 is my time when i'm doing it but we have different times like when you're watching this now obviously i'm in a different time than you are right okay so we'll get started here um we'll just see what's coming in for you what message is there for you at this time? I was hoping it wouldn't be too loud outside. I do have the window closed, so it shouldn't be so bad. But I did hear that there was noise. Oh, you have a decision. Two of Wands. I feel this is your decision. This is interesting because I'm feeling drawn to pull sort of two readings here because I feel there's a fork in a road here. Um, this could be happening now or in the near future. There's a choice that you're going to have to make. So let's kind of see what the choices are here. You know, what are the energies involved? So we'll, we'll do one on the left and then we'll do one on the right. So what's uh, option number one? What is that? Wheel of Fortune. This seems to be some something that you can't control. Um, something that has changed around you. Um, honestly, this probably feels for both. It's probably something along the lines of something is changing for you and it could be up to you whether you embrace this change, if you go with it, or if you resist it. Because there's something that is changing, um, something that's coming around. Ten of Wands, Justice, yeah. I mean, honestly, th whatever this is, it's here to fix something here. Something that maybe you were feeling a lot of pressure on or you were feeling overwhelmed with. Um, there's an energy here that's trying to balance that. So if you've been feeling weighed down by something here, maybe weighed down by options. Um, this, there's, there's an option here for it to balance in some way so you could feel balanced in whatever this is it's like feeling less weighed down um i don't feel like it's easy though because there's a lot of pressure here but i feel like this has already been building i don't feel like this is happening all at once i feel like it's already been building and it's almost to relieve some of that pressure so there's an external energy i feel that has really nothing to do with you it's like external um the best example I can give when I mean things like that, like the weather. We have no control over the weather. The weather is going to do what the weather is going to do. I'm not saying that's what this is. I don't know what this energy is. But whatever it is, it's here to sort of relieve some pressure, to relieve some of the burdens here. And it's like nothing that you really did. It's just kind of like, it's, it's like good fortune, good luck. Um, just something that's kind of basically falling into your lap here. But it's whether you choose to sort of accept this. knight of wands i feel it does require taking action on your end but whatever this action is it's something like 
being kind of brave. Um, the Knight of Wands tends to take bold action and is very focused on something. I feel like there's something that you would have to really focus on and um, it, it's very bold action being kind of adventurous here. Um, it could be that I'm getting with time. I, I feel both of these with time while I was shuffling. I'm pretty sure I saw the Wheel of Fortune. It, anyways, I saw a clock and it did think of me of time where I feel this is it's like a limited time anyways. It's like kind of having to act fast. And you know, when you act fast, it's kind of like, you know, shit or get off the pot type of energy. It's like either, you know, you do it now or whatever kind of thing. So it does feel like this is something, I wouldn't say it's coming in quick. It's just, it requires fast action, I feel. Okay. So let's see what the other side is. What's the other option here? Oh, oh, okay. High Priestess in reverse. Yeah, this is if you just ignore it and the star. Uh, see, the other option here is you just try to turn a blind eye to it. It's like, I don't see it here. Whatever's going on, the energy that's around you that you can't help. It's like, if I don't like pay attention to it, I don't see what's going on, possibly because maybe you don't want to get your hopes up or you don't want to be too optimistic about what's going on because this is some good luck. It's some good fortune and maybe the other option is like almost not wanting to believe it um almost just kind of feeling like it's not real in a sense like uh there's a sort of a pessimistic sort of vibe here it's like i don't want to get false hope i don't want to give myself false hope here but it's like i'm it's like being aware of this energy of this wheel of fortune energy but just trying to not look at it mm. yeah seven of wands it is a lot of work it, it doesn't matter either way whatever this is this decision you're gonna have to work at it at something here um the seven of wands it could be that this is kind of this would be a challenge for you um, I do feel like this is also challenging. It's a, it's also kind of difficult to actually not look at it um, here. But I feel the star energy is quite strong. It's like, I really don't want to give myself false hope. Mm. I'm noticing her. That's the Cheshire Cat in this deck. She also represents the devil. So it's tempting. I, I would say that it is tempting. That's why it's kind of difficult to turn a blind eye to because you are aware of it. It's like, once you know about it, you know about it. You can't unknow something. Two of swords. Again, it's that more avoiding energy here. Although her eyes are open in this deck. So again, it's that you are aware of what's going on here. You are aware of this Wheel of Fortune. You are aware of something that has changed, but you're just, you haven't made any sort of decision on it. This is like not doing anything. This is like indecision. This is like, I'm just gonna like turn my eye, my, a blind eye to it um, because I don't wanna give myself false hope. Hmm, okay. One more. Four of Swords in a row. <laughs> There she is again. Um, I'm, I'm very drawn to her. Um, it's so hard not to think about this. Now, it's the Four of Swords is like half of an Eight, right? You have Eight of Swords and you have Four of Swords. Here, this is half of Eight of Swords. Half, eight of Swords is like you get in your head and it, it can kind of drive you a little crazy. Um, four of Swords here, I, I don't feel like it's affecting you that much. Like in that way it's not like affecting your sleep it's not affecting i don't even feel your daily life um here but it's like something that just keeps sticking in your mind um it's hard to not think about it like it's just there in the back of your mind you know it's there i get a lot of you're very aware of this um this decision you're very aware that you're perhaps maybe even taking the wrong path here i wouldn't say wrong you can't take any wrong path but taking the other path here instead of you know going with the change here um or accepting it in some way here um it's just 
it's like, even if you try not to look at this, it's just going to be hard not to. I'm not seeing like it's difficult if you go towards it. I mean, I'm not seeing that it's wrong. Wrong. Why do I keep saying things like that? It's not bad. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not bad here. Um, it actually, it is difficult, but it's not as difficult as you think, I feel. Because I keep saying that it's not difficult. I keep saying it's not wrong. There's something here that you might feel like if if you embrace this energy, it's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. It's not right. It's not what I should be doing. There's a lot of action. It, it has a lot to do about your actions, what you're doing here. Because um, there's a lot of uh, wand energy here. So the things that you put your energy into, um, things that you work on, that you know you put effort into. Yeah, I keep getting like... It's like almost like you're trying to avoid it because you think it's going to be difficult. You think it's it's not the right thing to do. You think that it's it's not going to get to where you're going to that where you need to go or where you think you need to go. I can't tell you for sure what's going to happen, but all I can say is that the energy is trying to make something right here. Okay. Let's see what else else about this energy this keeps coming up a lot waiting there's an anticipating type of energy here um waiting for something to happen it feels to me you know like you know when the weather forecast i don't know i'm talking about the weather again but you know when especially in the summertime when you know it's gonna rain like you could just feel it like you know the the clouds come in because it comes in quite fast and it just suddenly becomes really dark out and you like it's really dark and then you look at the time and you're like it's like two in the afternoon you're like why is it so dark out and then you realize like there must be a storm that's coming in and you're just it hasn't gotten there yet and you're just kind of waiting for it that's what this kind of feels like it's like waiting in anticipation for something that you know is coming like it's like you don't know for sure but it's like you feel it you feel something is coming it's like yeah it's it's, it's just there's just feeling of waiting in anticipation for something to come towards you it's an energy I don't, I don't know what it is. What else can you tell me? Why? Why is this feeling here? It is hidden from you. Mask. It can feel like something's missing. Not that you're anticipating or you're waiting for something to replace it. Or to, like, return cover something but it's like anticipating something because it feels empty like it feels like something should be there but it's maybe not why is thief here there's a lack of like control of the situation I don't feel like whatever was lost here or that you feel an emptiness, like a void, I don't feel like you had much of a say in that. I feel like somebody else did. That's what this boss energy is. It's like I don't really have a lot of control in that. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah, these are all pretty uh, positive. I'm just gonna put that there so you can just see it. Um, yeah, so... I see here why it's like, there's not a lot of action here. It's very passive energy here. It's like waiting, like I said, in anticipation for an energy. 
an energy that maybe you feel is missing, but it has nothing to do with anything you did. I don't think you had much control over this, but I get that the only thing that sort of you can control here is having some sort of hope, I guess you can put it that way, because it is literally hope here. Um, it's, it, it's going, it's bouncing off of the waiting energy. Like, I don't feel like you're actually physically waiting, okay? It's, it's all energetically. It's like your energy is just kind of stalled out a little bit here because there's some optimism here. Um, I mean, all of this is very positive with joyfulness, celebration, surprise. It, this is what you're hoping for. Overindulgence. I feel like maybe sometimes you feel like you hope too much. Um, that you're putting too much hope in somebody else. I think that that's kind of a little bit of the issue here is that it's not really up to you. Like you don't, you don't feel like you have control here and it kind of bugs you. Like in a way, like I wouldn't say it bugs you, but it's this energy bugs me. That's why I say it bugs, it might bug you because having something missing, something that's incomplete almost, and it's like, it has nothing to really do with you. It can be that feeling of not getting closure in something. And it's not even like you, you can do anything really about it. Um, it's up to some other energy. It's out of your control. But it's like, you, there's a sort of optimism here that maybe there is, you know, a sense of maybe, maybe it, it could turn out okay. You know, just unexpectedly and everything will be okay. But it is a little bit of over promising almost yourself to yourself i have noticed that this is counting down so i don't know what it's counting down to i don't normally notice all the numbers i'm i noticed them when i got to here and when i put hope down because it was like almost eight o'clock five six four like like it keeps going back and forth eight to five and then the six and then the four it's like something counts down and then it gets delayed and then it comes down again um that's what it feels like perhaps that's where the hope comes from it's like things start to wind down and then something out of your control happens but then once that kind of settles down, then it winds down again. I don't know. Like, I mean, I don't know what to do with this energy. It's just sitting there. It's a very passive energy. It's just sitting there. I don't even know if it's your energy or if it's energy around you. Um, but I mean, you'll use, use your intuition there and how you feel about that if it's resonating, but it's just sitting there. I don't think it's doing it. It's not doing anything. It literally is just sitting there and we're, um, we're just looking at the energy. Why is it just sitting there? Okay, what's the potential outcome? Here, where is all this energy heading? Like all this energy, like where is it heading towards? Even though it does rely on your free will. So this could change, but in the direction, like where currently where it's leaning towards, where is it currently heading? Two of Cups, some sort of reconciliation, some sort of union here. Two energies, two, two people or energies coming together do, 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 in union. Okay. There are two energies. They seem opposite, a little opposite to me because, again, I'm drawn to the Cheshire Cat and Alice. Alice from Alice in Wonderland and the Cheshire Cat... It's like, you wouldn't think that they would hang out together, but there's something special between them, but they are opposite. I feel it's more the Cheshire Cat finds Alice quite interesting and intriguing, and Alice, I mean, feels the same way too. There is this sort of, I'm getting interest, intrigue here. Curiosity, <laughs> I guess. Why the two of cups? Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so whatever this energy is that is coming towards you, 
um, you have a certain level of trust. You trust this energy on some level here. It, I feel like it's proven that to you um, with the Knight of Pentacles. Like, I, being a knight, I feel like this energy has done something to gain your trust in some way here. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Because I'm drawn to the shield. It may have protected you in some way or you felt protected by this energy at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's from the past. Yeah, Six of Cups. I, it's, it's, it's just the same thing that I just said. This energy that you're coming in togetherness with is something from your your past that you oh like they they've protected you they've done something whatever this energy they've done something to prove that you can trust them and it has something to do with protecting you uh, could be even standing up for you um here could be when you were younger when you were a child it could be past life um in another life it could be that as well um either way i do feel you are soulmates with the two of cups and the six of cups here and with the Knight of Pentacles, you do trust this energy. Why is the Six of Cups here? You have a lot of twos in their reading, too. So I feel like things could go either way. I did see this while I was shuffling Ten of Swords. Yeah, they helped you. I feel like they may have helped you to end some sort of pain. I'm getting tragedy here. That ABBA song just popped in my head. Tragedy. Yeah, Seven of Swords. You may have been betrayed at some point or felt lied to or deceived in some way. And this is an energy here that I feel had helped you. And so you trust this energy. This is a trusting energy. You have somebody coming towards you. Um, it can be a reunion, some sort of reconciliation here that... Um, I feel this energy is, it feels like it helps you to make your decision or it's part of the decision. Why? I just want to know why. Why is it, what, what does this have to do? What is the ener the connecting energies between these two twos? Oh, you have two here. The sun and the eight of pentacles. Yeah, it's. It's working something out here for you. It's making something very clear for you. The sun. The sun shines a light on everything. You can't hide from the sun. So you have an energy that's coming towards you that is going to make something very clear to you. It could make your decision or or your options here, like, you know, what you should do um, here very clear. It does feel like it's helping you with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, this just feels like... Um, it's like helping you to work something out here. Work it out. Yeah, King of Swords. I feels like a conversation here that you might have with somebody that maybe opens your eyes in some way here. Opens your eyes in what effort you need to put in or what you should be putting in or whatever. You know, it, it does feel like they're, they're here to help you. I get a very helping. That's what that Six of Cups feels like. That there's an energy that's going to come and help you. Um, talk to you try to make sense of things here okay all right um that's what i have for you gemini so thanks for watching uh you can always check out any of the other signs or any of the other readings there could be messages in there for you if you're feeling drawn to them but i'm gonna leave you with this here today um i hope that you have a good day or good night wherever you are take care and good luck and i'll talk to you later